Hi there, Pisces. It's Abby. Welcome back. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. Welcome to all of my rogue Pisces family. So happy to see you here today. Happy Monday to you. Um, so this is going to be a little reading for the Pisces Collective. Remember, it's not a one-to-one -one personal reading. This is for the worldwide fishies, okay? So I just want to take a peek at what the energies might be looking like uh, for us fishies, okay? Um, so... As I'm setting up here, um, if, oh, that's from another deck. <laughs> if you are new to the channel, hi, how are ya? Uh, my name is Abby. All I do on this channel is Pisces stuff, okay? So just Pisces, Pisces all the time. If that's something you're interested in, feel free to take a look around. Uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff, because that is all that I do here. So... Let's take a look at what we have on the way here, Pisces. So I'm going to be clarifying each of these cards. Um, the general lay of the land is it looks like, Pisces, your energy, Knight of Cups, um, here starting off the week, possibly ready to communicate and talk to people, or there could be um, an offer of some kind that you're trying to bring. If it is an offer, um, then it could have to do with things like love, relationships, friendship, creativity, spirituality, these are the, that's the land of the cups, okay? And this knight uh, is one of the quicker, mm, they're quicker than the knight of pentacles, let's put it that way. They are still a slow and steady energy, and they're very much in love with what they're doing. They're holding their goal right out in front of them, and they're trying to really hold that focus on that particular goal, okay? So it feels like the position that you're starting out in, um, it could have to do with another water sign, but I feel like it's pretty fitting that that is you here. So I'm going to dig in and clarify a little bit before we talk about the rest of the story. You're ending up in the Emperor and the Empress, so there could be some divine counterparty type stuff happening here. Kind of cute. With the Knight of Cups, this could be possibly love if you're looking for it. Six of Cups can be an indicator of romance or flirtation, friendship also. Um, so that is also a possibility for some of you here. It could be someone possibly from work or at a distance. Um, for others, if you're not looking for love right now, then this feels like those dreams that you're holding sort of front and center you're letting yourself be playful with them, even though there's like a lot of hard working energy and that's creating a lot more of opportunity for expansion. And I feel like it's actually making it easier to imagine new places to take it is to let yourself get a little like, yes, you're putting a lot of time and focus into it, having that same gaze that he's keeping on that cup. But it's like being childish in a way, not irresponsible childish, but playful um, it feels like that's really helping things out, okay? So, let's see what this kind of, as we move through the week here, we have the Seven of Wands, which is um, some kind of achievement. You're learning how to defend yourself, how to defend your position. Um, this is also um, a card of sometimes something happening that's a little unexpected. I'm getting drawn recently to those boots. How He's wearing one dress shoe and one boot. Okay, because it kind of indicates that the position that they're in right now is almost like an opportunity that they had to seize, right? Um, they're having to defend themselves from the top of the hill, um, or they, there's other ways to look at it where they're, they're planting possibly all of these staves in the ground, okay? But this is sort of something that came out of the blue, and that they're having to sort of seize that opportunity and sort of really defend that position, which feels pretty good. These are both, this is sort of like sevens in wands is like how to um, integrate the knowledge of like how to use your drives and how to focus your drives and your will. Okay. So it feels like that's a big focus at the beginning of the week. Then we have you moving into the seven of pentacles. So then it's moving from your drives to more into sort of like your grounded skills, your abilities, uh, your money, your pocketbook, your interpersonal relationships with people that you actually see. Okay, and so this is now that assessment energy of what you've been investing that time in now that you've had to sort of defend that position for yourself. It's like, okay, so what's going to be a wise investment for me here? Um, and then you end up in the Empress. <laughs> so it could be Taurus, Aries energy. Those might mean something to you, might not. I have both of these in my chart. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have them also. 
Um, I know I've read in the comments a lot of people share their charts, but this feels like that sort of, this is like a really worthy and abundant energy. So it feels like you might be learning some Empress style energy lessons this week that allow you to then sort of move into emperor mode and sort of take all of those things that the empress realizes that they are capable of manifesting and then creating an action plan and getting sort of structured with them. Okay, so it feels like it starts with the dream and it ends with more of a plan is what I'm kind of seeing here. So I'll dig a little into each of these energies just to see what else might want to be announced at the end of the reading i'm going to give you one money card for the week one moon card for the week and a law of attraction principle to focus on um so you have the four of cups knight of wands the hierophant right so knight of wands quick moving energy <laughs> four cups is sort of like status quo it can sometimes be a grass is greener energy it can sometimes be when we're a little apathetic um and you see how I said it's like almost like an opportunity that comes out of the blue and you have to sort of cease it. Like if you can see how this knight is crashing into this, um, you know, this opportunity is presenting itself to the person under the tree. And then the knight of wands is this energy of like something kind of coming in sort of like whoosh, really, really whooshy. Interesting. We have three, four, five progression energy. Okay. So it feels like you're definitely moving in a step here, some kind of real step forward. Could have a more Taurus energy here with the Hierophant. You could have a, a fire sign also. So this seems like for a lot of you, um, the thing that might kind of come out of the blue here might have to do with um, education or traditions um, and possibly travel here with this Knight of Wands energy. Hmm. There's something about this Hierophant. Ah, the Fool. Okay, yeah. For some of you, it's like a, a leap of faith or something that comes up. And it's, I feel like it is, this is an elevated standing, right? This Hierophant energy. And they've had to go through a lot of training. They're training the people that are below them, if you can see this here. So this feels like almost like an opportunity for training or learning or some kind of advancement. Um, and that it's requires a leap of faith because it kind of surprises you up at the beginning of the week here. This is interesting. So this could be as little as being like, oh, I don't know, maybe there's an online course or something you wanted to take and then you get an email and it's on sale or, um, you know, something like that. And you're just like, oh, shoot. Okay. I can, I can do it, but I have to do it now. Um, or scholarships. Some, for some reason, I wanted to say scholarship. Did I already say that? Um, there's something like that in there. So we have the Seven of Pentacles here. Yes. I actually kind of like this energy. This ain't bad. So you have the... You're assessing stuff here. Great deal of sort of wish fulfillment that you're wanting to, to get done here. This slow and steady energy and the 10 being a completion that's right on the corner. You again have a 9 and a 10. This is like logical next steps and actual like movement. This doesn't feel scattered in a way. This feels like it's orderly. Um, even though the 10 is a whole lot to deal with. Okay. I mean, really, right? They're, they're carrying a bundle of sticks up a hill. And they kind of can't see exactly where they're going. But it's like with this, the Knight of Pentacles is the most determined of all of those knights. Um, they, they get there no matter how long it takes them. And they fully intend to reach that finish line here. So this feels like for some of you, you could also have like an accomplishment of some kind. Something that has taken you a while to complete that you might be receiving some news or messages on. I mean, leaves you feeling pretty satisfied with yourself, which I'm quite liking. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. For some reason, I got retirement party in my head. I'm not sure why, so I just decided to say it. So if a retirement party is something that's happening, maybe... Um, <laughs> Maybe you're going somewhere hot <laughs> with the sun there. Um, yeah, I don't know why. That just popped into my head. Uh, so let's look at your empress. Then they're moving through the empress. So what's with the empress? The chariot, the three of cups. So a celebration and a victory and an achievement and then new starts and beginnings. Um, 
Very, very nice. So Cancer energy here. Um, some of you might be receiving a sort of a second wind or um, feeling a little bit more social. All right. Um, you might be moving or driving somewhere. Like driving to a party or a celebration. And it's sort of like a... I'm getting a little bit of this energy of it feeling like invigorating like it gives you like a new new perspective or new hope um this feels like an achievement of some kind you're being celebrated and it, i feel like it's leaving you with this sense of um worthiness that's really full and really nice i want to look at this chariot for some reason it was like, look at the chariot. Okay. Um, so decision. Hmm. A decision about an opportunity, possibly. An opportunity for something in the 3D, like a new job or a big purchase. This is basically, for some reason, this is just, this feels like it could be really mundane. So it's like some, some of you might be really trying to decide which car to buy. And it's like you are having to sort of, you might have a Virgo person that you consult or like someone you consider to be a wise person that you might be consulting. I don't often get stuff like that with the chariot, but it can just, it can literally just mean a car. And for some reason that just decided to come through for me because the Ace of Pentacles is like a large purchase a lot of the time. So it could be something like um, a car, a house, something like that. And you're consulting with someone who you consider a wise person or a guru in some way. Um, and I feel like if that happens, especially around other people, there's like this um, sense of accomplishment, this empressy energy here. That's like having a lot of fine things, feeling really like you're... You're sort of juicy kind of in your, your element here. You've got something nice going on. Okay. Let's look at your emperor energy. So you're ending off with these two beautiful counterparts. Big fan. Um, power couple kind of energy here. But again, we've had this theme of progression. So it feels like that... Um, three of the emperors moving into the emperor with the four... So Aries energy, let's see what's going on with them. Very, very warrior kingy. No. Okay, so. We have the king of swords to the ten of wands. Some of you might be trying to find a way to become consultants or to use your skills in some way um, to con like to sort of give consults to other people in a professional kind of manner. Um, and that's like a, a whole new thing for you. You could be possibly thinking about taking on a partnership in that respect and contacting someone who's of like mind but who is younger in spirit than yourself. And that could be part of what is that plan there. Um, for others... This could very well be that you're sort of in a more of a space of taking the lead. You might be dealing with some authority figures here. Um, and this feels like you have a, a successful completion in a project of yours that has taken quite a while. It's been a lot, right? This Ten of Wands coming out again. Um, and for some of you, you could be receiving a communication from someone um, who has this sort of nice and healthy lovers gemini kind of energy to the connection so it's usually um a spiritual and like mutually beneficial healthy connection the lovers can also be a card that talks about just general good health um you could be curious about things like that after a time of working really hard you're making a plan perhaps for the new year getting very exacting and precise with things because you might realize that you've been letting yourself burn out too much you've been taking on too much and now it's a time for you to get sort of more focused on things like harmonizing yourself with your environment and your your well-being going forward um that's what i'm getting there and for others lovers could just very well be someone perhaps you have some air sign stuff here and some fire sign stuff um, 
So you could have a choice between a couple different people and there could be a significant age difference. That's interesting. Queen of Cups, the bottom of the deck, boom. <laughs> That's some Pisces energy if I ever saw one. Hmm, okay. That's what I got for you there. So, let's get... Hmm, let's get a money card for you. So could we please have some financial, money, job, career, whatever, whatever kind of guidance Pisces might need for this week ahead. What do they need to hear or see that it will be for their greatest good and highest outcome for the collective? The highest good for the highest number, please. Writer. Ooh, I know a few of you have been telling me about writing projects. Um, so this here says, stories matter. Your words have power to influence others. Find out how you can contribute. A career in social media management, book writing, content writing, or blogging could be for you. Use words and visualize it as you write them to manifest more money into your life. Okay, so using your words for visualizing. If you're having trouble um, manifesting from just a visualization kind of place alone, this could be telling you to sort of write it down, write yourself a story, write about your new life, right? Write about your new life. Um, there's one that I've, I'm, I think I'm going to start it for the new year, probably. Or maybe I'll just start it tonight. I don't know. Um, but it was someone I saw who said that they, as a sort of manifestation practice, they would try to visualize and imagine how they would spend a thousand dollars. Okay. And so they're sitting there, okay, I'm, how am I going to spend a thousand dollars? And it can't be on anything that's like bills or, um, obligations, your lights, um, your car, your mortgage, stuff like that. Um, it's what will you buy that you will truly feel luxurious in, in this sort of empress energy? Like what would you do with a thousand dollars? And then the next day, double it, right? And go $2,000. What would I do with $2,000? Would I, would I invest it? Would I um, buy myself a fancy thing? Would I have a luxurious spa uh, treatment of some kind? Would I take my friends and family out to, for dinner? Like it was that kind of thing. And every day they just kept going and kept going and kept going. Um, to, to help train the mind to really sort of think um, that way. So um, if that visualizing, that writing technique might also might come in handy there. Do we have anything from the moon for my Pisces, please, for this week ahead from December 13th to the 19th, please? Okay, so we do have emotions are running high. She had a few cups, cards, and things in there. So that's not... Um, <laughs> not unusual. And then we also have your commitment is being tested. There's that laser focus that's there on that, um, on that cup. And I had that sense of perhaps, um, the cards were speaking to me about possibly some, an opportunity arising, um, and needing to, to see if you can seize it. Okay. Um, so that could be part of a commitment thing here. Let's see. Emperor's very committed energy. Yeah. For the law of attraction, is there anything that Pisces needs to hear or say? Yeah, see, this is just <laughs> say affirmations. So it looks like we're talking a lot about taking things just out of your brain, um, like just thoughts floating around in there and turning them into something. So stating things, stating your affirmations out loud, I am manifesting, talking about it in the present tense in your present life and making it believable to yourself. Um, and then we also have the daily habits, which is really important in manifestation. So not just the daily habit of like, say having a manifestation journal or something like that, but your self-care, your morning and evening success routines, healthy choices. We had that lover's energy coming out there. Um, yeah. And that everything sort of adds up and compounds over time, like a good investment, right? Um, really nice. It also says subliminals there. So some of you might be attracted to listening to some um, subliminal things on YouTube and stuff. There's all kinds of them. All right. So this is 
angels and ancestors, is there anything the Pisces collective needs to hear or see this week in particular for their greatest good and highest outcome? Is it this one or this one? No, that one doesn't feel like anything. Okay. Ooh, okay. So this is Spirit Fox. Glorious. So this says, trust your talents in changing times. I really like the fox in this deck. I always feel like the fox gets a bad rap in a lot of the, in a lot of the other decks that are out there. Okay, sorry, I just had to pause to grab my book. So this says, stay alert as change is in the air. Oh, <laughs> funny, the about says, the author says that foxes are their favorite animal. Me too. So this says, the energies around you are changing at this time. And although it might not always be comfortable, you are equipped with all that you need to survive this shift. You are being presented with opportunities to reach spaces you've never encountered before, and this can make you feel on edge, but to be open to the shifts occurring because they really are the answers to your prayers. The experience of being hunted and threatened is now behind you, and you are being invited to come out of your den and reveal your glory and your talents. Call upon Spirit Fox Medicine to help you be seen for who you are and trust in your talents in order to be the best that you can be in these changing times. This is lovely. It says the spirit fox can help you overcome the energies of adversity and unfair treatment. Yes. So this feels like if there's anything that it feels like you've come up against previously here, Pisces, um, this energy is coming out to let you know that having that experience has made you very cunning. It's made you very wise it's made it's made you capable of seeing opportunities and going for them of sensing things and moving at them with determination using like your wits um in this sort of way this is really nice and it feels like it helps you end up with a plan here this sort of that i was talking about readiness the emperor is like ready they're ready all the time they're wearing that armor um they're ready to command legions of followers if they need to they're ready to go they're ready to put their things into action and the knights are as well so this feels like something matures for you here this week well pisces <laughs> this is what i got for you this time i hope something in here was helpful to you thank you so much to everybody who has come by uh it was really nice to see everybody who came out for the premiere of the 2022 month by month predictions. Um, I'll link those somewhere down below, I believe. I think I'll put it in the comment section so you can go take a look at that if you want to. Um, lots of love to all of you. I hope you have a wonderful week. Okay, thank you so much for all of your support and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.